Hello and welcome to another edition of Capra Comparison Picks. Today I am predicting the uh, Nicaraguan Pr Liga Primera quarterfinals for the championship tournament of the Clausera. You know, the Clausera tournament or league, whatever you want to call it. Okay. Um, as for match day, the last day of the season, match day 18 of 18, what did I, I went three and... Three and two. Um, I'm not going to go over every game, but yeah, I well, I should. But no, I'm not going to because you guys don't care. I went three and two. You can trust me or you can check the videos if you don't believe me. Um, <laughs> but anyway, let's just move on to this because I have a lot of things to do today. And I want to get this out of the way. So, this is the quarterfinals for the... Liga Primera Clausera Tournament. Um, there are two tournaments. There's the Apertura Tournament that happened 2019. The champion of that was Real Esteli. They beat uh, Managua 1-2, to two, I think, in the final round of that tournament. And, uh, but uh, Managua this season has, like for the Clausera final record they came out on top uh number one with the record of 13 wins three draws two losses so how the tournament works is they take the top top six teams in points you know you get points for wins and there's like the here's the standings okay they take these top six that's why they're all not this this is actually the wrong one But, oh, look, here's the Apertura, Apertura tournament. I don't know if you could see that. Real Steli beat Managua. I don't know where that camera's looking. Two to one in the Apertura. Okay, see how that worked out? Now, this tournament here also has six teams. Managua and Real Steli both have buys right through to the semifinals. So the, this is the quarterfinal round right here. We have, this is at uh, seven, at time check, at seven o'clock tonight, we have Deary Ankin going against Juventus Managua. Deary Ankin comes in to this tournament, this championship tournament, number three, with a final record of 10, five, and three. Juventus comes in number six, they're, they just barely made the cut over Chinandega. And when it comes to it, they had a tie in points with 18 on the Clausera season. When it comes to a tie, uh, they go to a point, uh, yeah, a, what does it say, score differential in their games. So I'm, I'm assuming they have a better goal differential or whatever. That's what I read. I don't know why I didn't print that damn thing out. But, uh, or maybe I did and I just misplaced it. Anyway... Anyway, um, yeah, that goes through a score differential as a tiebreaker, and that's what happens. So Juventus made it, okay? So let's just dig right into this so we can get our picks on what who's going to move on in this tournament, okay? In the last five, Diriankin has gone two wins, two draws, one loss. In the last five, Juventus went... And this is not completely correct. It's actually one win, two draws, one loss, and then that stupid abandoned game against Real Madrid, Dries, when they were up two to nothing, 75th minute and power went out. So I, I count that as a win for Juventus, even though the record books will not. I personally, I do. So two, two and one also in their last five. Okay, Duryankin is the uh, favorite at minus 205, Juventus, a big underdog at plus 507. If you buy the goal, it goes to minus 108. Here, if you got them covering, then it's not so disgusting and you can pay the minus 112. That's covering a goal. Okay, Dirienkin's last match was a victory over Real Madrid's. And that was three to one, okay? 
The last match for Juventus was a draw at Las Savanas. Did they score? Yeah, they both scored one to one. Okay. Um, now, players to look out for. Dirienkin has number one. Has a, has one. In, this is what I did for the quarterfinals. I just took, if you got a player in the top 15 or players, I will mention each one of them. Uh, unfortunately, Deary Ankin only has one player in there. You guys know him already. His name is Danilo Zuniga. Zuniga is, uh, has five scores on the cluster this season. He is number 21. Keep a lookout for him. Uh, Deary Ankin wears black and white at home. So, black jerseys, number 21. Juventus, Managua, they are going to be wearing red because they are the away team. That's the, for a higher rank, at least you get home field advantage, okay? Juventus is the away team. Ooh, and they got, well, first they have, they have Junior Artiga, who I've mentioned before, okay? Hey, baby. And uh, he's got four scores on the season. He is number 14. But they have a new guy that made the top 15 list. He just broke through because he's never been on my board. He hasn't even been on my radar. But I don't know how many scores he got last couple games. But now he's he's passed Junior Ortiz. His name is Alexis Somoriba. And Somoriba has five scores on the season. Leads the team. Leads Juventus Managua. And he is number 11. Keep an eye out for him. Uh, Juventus Monaco will be wearing red. That's, well, that's their away colors. Okay? As for other talent on the team, Deary Yankin's got five national team players and seven foreign. Okay? Uh, Juventus has also, ditto, same thing. Five Nats, seven foreign. Okay, so in that respect, they're pretty evened up. Okay, um, here we go with the uh, last three head-to-head -head matches between these two teams. Chronologically, we have uh, Deary Yankin, they had a victory October 27th. They had a 2-1 to -one victory. Then um, February 15th, they had a 1-0 to -0 victory. These are both at in Deary Ankin. And um, most recently though, however, and this one I remember because I lost money on Deary Ankin. They got upset on April 4th. Uh, Juventus beat them at, in Managua three to zero. Okay, now the, let's take a look at the total set at two and a half. Uh, oh, I meant to, forgot to mention, the draw is at plus 292. What I believe happens is, uh, yeah, there are still draws in quarterfinals. They're just going to play again if they draw. That's what I I think what happened in the Apertura tournament. There was, a, there was like a couple draws between a couple teams in that tournament. They just replayed. So the draw is set at plus 292. Now the total set at two and a half. If you choose the over, it's at minus 112. The under is at minus 108. So if it's even a play, let's take a look. The most recent game went over. Um, prior to that went under, and there's another over. There's a big over. Well, you know, comparatively speaking, this is an under. So we have one, two, three overs and two unders. I am thinking, let me let me take a look back. I didn't even pick a side yet, so this is what I'm gonna this is how I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna get um your Deary Ankin is going to win. The question is by how many? Because I'm not paying of I'm not doing the minus 205. I just can't. I mean I'll throw it in a parlay with whoever I choose over there, but I can't do that. So as the bet You're gonna take a bath today, right? Okay. 
Um, as this, I'm going to take Deary Ankin, but I guess I'll take him to cover one point at home. What? I see that. Point. And a Rams. Yeah, thank you. And I think it's, let's, you know what? I'm going to say it's going to, the score is going to be like two to one, Deary Ankin. That would be over. So I'm taking Gary Yankin to cover one and the over. All right, let's move on. Time check. Nine o'clock. We have Walter Ferretti taking on Mu <laughs> Municipal ART Yalapa. I don't know what ART stands for. I suppose I should have looked that up. But anyway, Ferretti came into this tournament ranked number fourth out of after the 18 games in the Clusera. Uh, they won nine, drawed three, and lost six. Okay, Yalapa comes in right behind them at number five. Their record isn't as impressive, though, because they for they won six, had uh, five draws, and seven losses. Okay? And then the last five, this is where it's, the winner should be displayed right here. Freddy's four wins, zero draws, one loss. Yalapa, no wins. Two draws, three losses. Uno, dos, tres. Tres losses. Okay? So, keep that in mind. Freddy is the uh, favorite at minus 243. <laughs> Yalapa is the underdog at plus five, four, three. Big plus number. The draw is at 335. Remember, dust. Throw a little dust on the draw. Each of these games, always, always. It's a, that's just like given now. If you if you have a balance of ten dollars, put eight on the game and two on the draw. Okay, or some. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm just saying, always put a little dust on the draw because it happens all the time in Nicaragua and Belarus. Okay. Now, the last game for Walter Frey was a victory. No, Ooh, it was the loss, but it was at Managua. And Managua's, of course, as you all know, Managua's number one. They lost one to zero. And that was at Managua, who was undefeated at home, okay? I spelt it wrong, but I'm not gonna erase it out of time. Managua, Managua. Surf Nicaragua! Anyway. <laughs> uh, Yalapa, it had, their last match was also a loss. Well, it was either a loss or a tie because they haven't won in five matches. That was against Real Esteli, which Esteli is great. They're all already, both Managua and Esteli have advanced anyway to semifinals where they will take on, respectively, they will, uh, Real Esteli take on the winner of this. Managua is going to take on the winner of this. Okay. Um, they lost one to two against a tough Esteli team. All right, players to watch. Oh, we got three for Freddy. The whole league leading scorer, uh, Fernando Villalpando. Fernando Villalpando scores the most in the whole league with 10 goals. He is number 27. Um, oh boy, this is going to be tough to write. I'm going to write small now. Deshaun Forbes. Um, he's got six goals. Not bad. And he is number nine. And Leandro Figueroa. Figueroa also has six goals. And he is number seven. So keep an eye out for number 27, number nine, and number seven for Ferretti. Yalapa, just worry about one. You got to worry look at one guy. You guys already know. He's the Brazilian, Gabriel. I've, every single week, he's the only player for Yalapa that I've ever put up here, unfortunately. I think in the week, like earlier in the season, I probably put, before there was a lot of goals, I probably put... Uh, other players up, but Gabriel's got five scores on the season. He is number nine also, okay? 
Other talent on the team, Freddie's got two national team players where um, and four foreigners. Yalapa has zero national team players, six foreigners, and you can, as you already know, Gabriel is one of those foreigners. Okay, last three had to have me, me, me. Now, last three had to have matchups. We got, <laughs> uh, we got a, uh, oof. oh, here we go. Back in October, 10, six, they had a zero to zero clean sheet draw. January, 126, they had a two to two draw. Ooh, I bet you that was a good game. Which one went over? Or, anyway, um, sorry. And finally, the only victory between, between the two head-to-head -head in the last three matches was for Yalapa. Most recently, March 21st, they beat them 2-0. to zero. I don't remember that game, but good on them. Anyway, looking at the last... Five, that's what that's my turning point. That's what's pushing me. I gotta take Freddy. I gotta take the favorite in this. Have to. Um as for look, one and a if they cover one and a half, you finally get a plus number. It goes to plus one ten. If you buy one and a half for Yalapa, it drops it from five forty plus five forty three down to minus one thirty. One and a half, that's tough. That means you gotta win by two. So, uh, again, I don't like the gross odds, but I got to go. I got to go with it, and I'm going to take the plus number. It's gambling, you know? You got to take a risk. I, I got, I think Freddie cover two points. Sure, why not? As for the over-under, I'm taking, um, let's see, we got an over, an under, an under, a push and an under, but yeah, I got them covered two points. So huh. if they don't win two to nothing, oh, if Gabriel might score, I don't know. She hasn't been doing so hot lately. <laughs> so and they're in it at Walter Frey. I gotta take yeah. I'm gonna take the uh, over on it. I guess. I, yeah, I'm taking the over. I just got to, you know, like I said, that play, half a unit, whatever. So, let's uh, recap. Time check. I have Deary Ankin beating Juventus Managua by more than one point. So, if they win, it's, if it's one to nothing, that's push. Nobody loses or wins, but I think they're gonna win two to nothing or three to one or yeah, three to one would be op optimal because that'll go over. Dear Yankin, covering a point, covering a goal, and it's gonna go over two and a half. Ferretti covering a goal and a half, and that's gonna go over three. Hopefully they're both high scoring games and Ferretti and Dear Yankin come out on top. That's that's my predictions. So gather your info, place your bets, and cash those tickets. There you have it. Uh, I got to crouch down here a lot. It was cut, cut the top of my head off. If I stand up like this, it's like, I think, maybe even more. So um, thanks for watching. If you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe. Uh, click that bell because I got Belarus coming in uh, Friday. Today's Wednesday. Tomorrow's a Tajikistan. Maybe. My wife thinks I ought to take a look at South Korean baseball. And I was considering it. But boy, right now they're in uh, exhibition matches. That is a lot to dig into. I was just looking at it. There's, even though there's only a handful of teams. That's the play, pitching and batting. And, but I'm still mowing over that idea. I'm not sure. 
But anyway, we still have Belarus, and I'm definitely covering that right down to the championship. This is, uh, you know, as you know, after this is semifinals, then championship, and then no more. So, um, click that bell. See, as soon as the videos come, boom, they're out. And you got them. And, um, what else? Oh, hit smash that thumbs up. Leave a comment if you want. Good luck on these bets, and I will see you next episode.